Hey, good morning. Tim Rath over here at Phillips Chevrolet in Frankfurt. Uh, today I'd like to show you again one of our features on the inside of our Chevy Camaros. Uh, I'm going to show you the steering wheel. It's got quite a few things going on with the steering wheel. First off, the shape. Right here, it's, it's taken from the uh, Corvette. It's a flat bottom, giving you much easier turn and no restriction on your knees. Um, but there are a lot of different paddles on you. Some of you might look at it and say it's too much. But let me simplify this for you. You have your lower paddles here on both sides of the steering column. Your right side is just volume control. The left side is just your preset. So again, keeping your hands on the steering wheel, you're able to control the volume and change your radio stations. Up here, this is your driver information center right here. So by selecting the left arrow, it's going to bring up all kinds of different titles. You use the up and down arrows to scroll into a specific title you would like to look at. Once you've arrived at that one, you go ahead and hit the select button that selects that particular menu. And then sometimes even within there, there's a particular amount of uh, different information. You're going to use up and down arrows to scroll through that information. Um, on top of that, you have your voice uh, for your radio um, to make your Bluetooth calls, your answer with this one, you're going to hang up with this one. So again, keeping your hands on the steering wheel. You control the volume, you control the presets, you control your driver information center, you answer and hang up on your phone calls. And of course your left is always going to be your cruise control. Pretty standard here, not much explanation needed. But one of the nice things you're going to look at over here, um, these are your manual shifts. So if you were to take the vehicle and you drop it down here, move it over, you are now in a manual mode. Meaning you can just accelerate, it's clutchless shifting. So you are actually going to shift up or shift down on here. Um, the vehicle is not going to shift for you, you put it in the manual mode. So you're now in control of shifting up, shifting down. Um, if you don't want to use that, just go ahead and put it right back into drive. Now it's going to shift as normal. Again, you have an 8 speed automatic transmission with this one. Um, if you've got any questions on any of the steering wheel, let me know. Tim Rath over at Phillips Chevrolet in Frankfurt.